We may have been in a waiting season for a very long time. We may be in the wilderness now. We may find ourselves spinning in anxiety and desperation, caught up begging the Lord to answer our prayers and our promises. And if you're suffering right now, I'm sending you so much love and I want to just encourage you that the Lord loves you. He has heard you and he will deliver whatever he has promised you, for he cannot lie. But I want to tell you what for me transformed my walk with Christ. And that was no longer seeking signs and wonders, no longer seeking earthly blessings, no longer trying to conform to this world by no longer waiting at all, realizing that the wait was actually over because Jesus is the miracle. Jesus is the blessing. Our Lord is the promised land. And seeking first his kingdom means seeking him alone. Sometimes he'll call us into a season of isolation to do that, to break our dependence on everything and everyone but him. And I've made a little survival video if you're in that season now, I'll link down below. In our generation, I can see that many of us are caught up in seeking signs and wonders. And we want all of these things, all of these blessings. But we have no joy, we take no joy in the path itself, in walking with God step by step. We're a generation that, through various issues in this world, including social media, expects instant gratification. We don't have much patience. And when we are going through extreme suffering and trial and tribulation, it's naturally hard to. In fact, it's actually impossible to have that patience in and of ourselves. But I just want to remind you that as a believer in Christ, you are filled with the Spirit of God. And it is His fruits working in your flesh and transforming you after your salvation that can lead you like He led Israel to the Promised Land, step by step, if you would only let Him. And so the greatest piece of advice I can give you now is to surrender to the season you're in with the Lord, even if you're in a season of suffering, to turn to him and ask him for his help, his peace, his strength to endure whatever he has called you to, and to take whatever arises within you during that season, the frustration, the impatience, the loss of faith, the lack of trust, Whatever it is that that warfare, that season, that wilderness triggers within you to the cross with him. For the Lord revealed something to me today that we don't pick up our crosses and follow him. We choose to follow him and we take our flesh to the altar of the cross to be crucified in him as he already bore all of it so that he can set us more and more free and so that we can receive more and more of him, the greatest blessing of all, our true hope and future, Christ himself. I do want to say that if you found this channel, you may have a unique calling and purpose on your life, but that the path to that calling, the miracle that you're waiting for, the ministry, the healing, the blessing, the spouse, whatever that is for you, even all of the above, is deeper intimacy and connection to our Lord Jesus himself. It's no longer trying to bend life to our own will, but coming into full surrender and submission to his, which we can only truly know for each and every one of us when we spend real time with him. So I encourage you today to spend some quality time with Jesus and know that whatever you're suffering, he is suffering with you, and he wants to hold you and comfort you through it. Whatever you're going through, your needs matter to him and he wants you to turn to him and ask him for help, which is the greatest lesson of that type of a season in general. He wants to help you to release more and more of that which separates you from him and pulls you back to the world. All you have to do is ask him to. And if you're struggling with that, check out my free ebook you can receive by signing up for my weekly witness email list below. In it is a guide that will help you assess where you are at and take three simple steps to rest and surrender in the Lord no matter what you're going through. As he wrote in Isaiah 40, verse 30, Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 
not by our own willpower, but by surrender to his life-giving spirit, who will lift us up to soar on wings like eagles and, and give us peace that surpasses all understanding. Like Psalm 23 says, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. The Lord's provision comes when we are in a state of rest. And when we truly learn how to rest in him, then we can receive his blessing. We receive more of him. For all blessings pour forth and flow through him and from him. And when we're scrambling to try to just survive and make life happen the way the ruler of this world currently wants us to, so we stay in bondage to him, we can remember to take the bondage of our Lord upon us instead, to just pause, rest in his love, and wait in his effortless peace for him to bring us the solutions to whatever ails us handing over all our spiritual battles to him alone. Because through the cross, through the crucifixion of our flesh, that is how we become sheep and true followers of Jesus, our good shepherd, which is also the path to fully stepping into your anointing and unique calling with our Lord. God bless you and keep you until next time, friends, and may his face shine upon you. And may you be captivated so much by his radiant beauty that you're willing to give up whatever is coming between you and him so you can truly thrive and move into the life that he has planned for you. I pray many blessings over your life, friends, in Jesus' name. Amen.